delivery is certainly still a popular buzzword. It's certainly something that seems relegated to the cool kids and tech startups in Silicon Valley. And maybe not something that's within the reach of, of an ordinary organization, of your team. And the goal of this talk is to really change that. This talk is intended to be uh, an entry-level introduction to introduce some of the concepts of continu continuous delivery, talk at length about the benefits, what, continuous me what adopting continuous delivery means to different people in your organization. So when you have this idea, when you want to bring this back and sell this to the team, you can communicate this in terms that matter to different people. Because the things that get your team excited about continuous delivery are very different to what gets, gets management excited about continuous delivery and also operations, QA, everybody has a slightly different perspective and everybody's gonna have their own little concerns. So having a complete picture of what this means to everybody will make it more, uh, will make you better at being able to communicate the benefits and get people on board with this. What transformations need to happen within uh, your, the development team, within other teams within your organization. And finally, we look into what it would take to build a continuous delivery pipeline with Gradle and Jenkins. Now, of course, the ideas that we're talking about apply to any tool, so it doesn't really matter if you're using Maven or Ant or TeamCity, uh, but we're using these as, simply as examples, but everything you learn in the majority of the session applies to any tooling that you choose to use. Oh, 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 oh,